Hey guys, good morning, Laura with Garden Answer. Today I want to give you some tips on planting annuals in the ground. And as you can see, I just got done planting a bunch of Supertunias in this area. I've got Supertunia limoncello in this corner, or that corner, and Supertunia bordeaux in the other two corners. I always like to save a couple of spots in my garden for annuals because they really do give you the most in terms of color for your money. Um, because even the high performing perennials that'll bloom a lot during the summer, even those will take a little break in between bloom cycles, but these don't. So I always save a space in the front of our house and in this area where we drive by it every day for annuals because I like to see a lot of color. So the first tip is to choose your location based on the amount of light that your annuals want. So Supertunias, as you know, like full sun, this area gets it. This one gets some sun for most of the day. Little bit of filtered sun like mid-morning, but then in the afternoon, full on sun, they should be really happy here. Let me go show you the other location. And this is the other location. This is right in front of our house. In fact, you might remember this. Last year we planted it up with Supertunia Vista bubblegum and it was incredible. In fact, let me show you what it looked like when we very first planted it and then what it looked like a couple months later. Check this out. incredible they just did so amazing in this spot so this year I chose Supertunia Bordeaux which I love the color of and then I used three graceful grasses prints tut on either side for my centerpiece plant so if your annuals require full sun you want to make sure to put them in a spot that gets six to eight hours at least if your annuals like part sun four to six hours is perfect if they like shade or part shade like lobelia impatience, begonia, you want to make sure that they get four hours or less of sun and preferably sun in the morning. The second tip is spacing. So what I do is look at the back of the tag and look at what they recommend for spacing and then I move up just a little bit closer than that. Because for annuals we don't need to worry about getting our spacing just proper because we're enjoying these for a few months that's the nature of annuals and then after the first really hard frost they'll need to be removed. So I like the plants to fill in quickly. I like to enjoy them looking really full and beautiful. I don't want them to take all season to meet. Now when it comes to perennials, shrubs, and trees, don't fudge the spacing. It's really important to get it right on those plants. The third tip is to find a really comfortable digging tool that works for you. This is my favorite one. This is a multi-purpose planting tool. Uh, they do come in a lot of different brands. What it basically has is a serrated edge on one side in case you run across any little roots. It cuts through those really nicely. It's nice and sharp. Um, but just find something that is comfortable and works for you. The fourth tip is fertilizing, and this is a huge one because annuals are workhorse plants. They will perform really, really well for you, but you need to make sure to feed them. So what I do is I start off by adding a little bit of a continuous release fertilizer around their roots when I plant them. That way I know that there's something slowly feeding them when I very first plant them. And then I'll go in with a water soluble fertilizer once a week, and they do really well on that schedule. I mean, you saw the Supertunia Vista bubblegum. That's the schedule I followed last year, and they did great. The fifth and last tip is to water consistently. So wherever you put your annuals, you just wanna make sure they're in a location that you can either easily reach with a hose or in a spot you can set up on some kind of an irrigation system. Drip is preferable, overhead sprinkler is okay. These are watered by an overhead sprinkler and they do just fine. No matter what, you just wanna make sure they're getting enough water and it's consistent. So those are my five tips on planting annuals in the ground and I really hope this video was helpful. And more than that, I hope it encouraged you guys to go plant some annuals in the ground because it's totally worth it. It's worth the money and it's worth the time. So if you're tackling this project this year, I would love to see pictures. So if you're posting them on social media, make sure to tag us so we can see it. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.